Hello and welcome to another episode of Iron Sharpens Iron, where basically what we do on this show is we showcase the many different journeys that men have taken through the Forge Warrior. And basically what the Forge Warrior is, it's a, it's a system that was built to build better men, meaning helping men transform into stronger, leaner, healthier, more energized men, whether they're fathers, husbands, you know, single guys, whatever. The Forge Warrior was built to unleash the warrior within these men, so to speak. And this show is all about showcasing those stories. And on this episode, I have a really good show for you that is featuring my man, Dan Clark. And Dan Clark has been a longtime follower of mine um, since I've been online, doing online coaching and, you know, releasing various programs online. Dan's been a longtime follower, probably since I first started my online uh, coaching, basically. And so he's followed various programs, and then he stepped up and joined with the Forge Warrior. And basically, the results that he's gotten in the last 13 weeks have been better than a lot of the results that he's gotten over years. And what's really cool about Dan is he's a personal trainer himself. And so it goes to show you the the truth about how it's important for coaches to have coaches, right? And this is something I oftentimes talk about a lot is I'm a coach, but I have multiple coaches. Like I have a coach for my business. I have a coach for my training. I have a coach for my nutrition. And so it's all about accountability. It's all about support and guidance. And that's basically what Dan did was step up and he's like, yes, I need a coach. I need that support. I need that accountability. And, you know, fast forward 13 weeks down the road, Dan's a, a completely changed man. And so we're going to showcase his story. So enjoy the show. And here's to becoming a warrior. I tell you what, I am after the trap. Um, I'm looking to put some, some wall art on my gym wall. I've got a nice wall there. Uh-huh. You haven't got any pictures that you've got to do with the Forge Warrior group that you could send us or and I could get it printed out or what? Uh, are you talking about the codes? Yeah, stuff like that, you know, just stuff to, to stick on there and, you know. I'm thinking about, uh, I'm going to get posters printed up of the uh, codes. Yeah. So when I do, I'll put it in the group and uh, basically guys will just be able to pre-order those before I get them printed up because I'll just do like a bulk order. And yeah, yeah. I'll get all those printed up and I'll ship it out to you and, yeah, you yeah. put it up on your wall. Yeah, that's going to be Jimmy say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been wanting to get a poster made up of all the codes so you can put it up in your gym or, you know, wherever. So, well, it's there then, isn't uh, it? You know, who knows a flag, I should get a flag made up too. a forge. Warrior. Yeah, some, yeah. Whatever something. And so, like you say, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up in mine. You know what I mean? And I got to get you a shirt. Ah. Uh, what size do you wear? What size? Yeah. Uh, I'll be a large, won't I? Large. Uh, after we're done, remind me or shoot me a message through Facebook. Your yeah. address, all your all your info. I'll get you a Forge yeah. Warrior shirt sent, man. So you can learn that. So, awesome, brother. Cool. So I'm here with my man Dan Clark, who uh, UK, right? Like we're out in the UK, are you? Yeah. Yeah. But in the UK, yeah. Where where at are you in the UK? Uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Okay. Awesome. And so we're here, man. Uh, we're gonna. We're going to dig into your story. I'm excited to have you here. You've, you've smashed the, the last 13 weeks inside the Forge Warrior. Uh, yeah. Your results have been awesome. But, uh, and and you've, been, you've been following me for quite a while. I mean, you've done some programs in the past. And yeah. then, you, then you stepped up and hopped on board with the Forge Warrior. And, I mean, it's freaking lights out since then, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> amazing changes. and. No doubt you, you put the hammer down and you freaking you just crushed it and here we are today. So I'm excited to get into your story, man. So kind of start off and just do a little introduction. Like who who are you and what do you do specifically, man? Um, I'm Dan, Dan Clark. Um, I'm a personal trainer. I do a little bit of PT on the, on the, on the side over here in my spare time. Um, 41 years of age. Um, obviously been following yourself now for... Seven, eight years, is it, since your last gym you had? Your very first gym, I think it was. And we're, we're going up on Lena. 10 years, so. <laughs> is that long? Is that, yeah. yeah Lean and mean 
the lean and mean blueprint got me hooked yeah. up, you know what I mean? Um yeah, back then. Yeah. Yeah, I've 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 always liked the workouts you did. Um I just like the style of training you do, you know. I found it was more effective than any other type of training I've done. Um I've done powerlifting, I've done the weightlifting bro split thing and you know it, it was all too many injuries for that, you know. Um and as I got a bit older, I've just wanted to get a bit more bit more mobile, mm -hmm. um, obviously keep me strength up and what have you, you know, and um looked at the garage build programme you did. Yep. I had a, I've got that. Yeah. Um, bells and body weight that was one as well yeah. I think that was one of the first ones I purchased off you yeah the bags bells and body weights uh, mm -hmm. that was like one of the first programs I put the athletes through that were in my gym when I well my first gym the first gym well the first location that is and so I like had bare bones equipment yeah. in there with some sandbags yeah. and bells, and so <laughs> that's the exact program that I put all those guys through and so I put it together put it out online and that was yeah. the, the goal behind it was to reach more people beyond my gym walls and so here you are in the UK across the pond yeah 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 it's awesome yeah. to see where I picked up on that yeah that, you know what I still pick workouts out of that now so I've, mm -hmm. um you know I've still got that in my gym that you know I've got it printed out and it's in my file awesome. um it. also the mud run that's what yeah. got me back on board because yeah. I, I was lifting I was lifting weights for a while and yeah getting injured my shoulders my, my elbows my hips my knees you know everything was starting to feel a little bit crumbly and uh, i thought how can i get back involved into something a bit more movement so i literally pulled the mud run program out yeah. and jumped on that and then obviously got got in touch with yourself done the 14 day yeah. um realized that that was what i wanted to do and you know where we are today like you know 13 weeks on yeah yeah feeling good the 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 interesting thing over the over this whole period of time, like you've always been super active. Like you've always you've sent me emails, you've asked me questions, um, and I mean, there's no doubt. Like you have been putting in the effort, putting in the time, and I mean, you're a PT yourself. And so yeah. I remember that initial yeah. conversation we had before you started up with the Forge Warrior was like, it's like a coach, even coaches need coaches. I have coaches. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. this is that, like that big tipping point was when you decided to hop in on, on the full thing, you know, in regards to like the Forge Warrior and that literally just, you know, changed things. I know that the amount of kind of, the big thing that you were always telling me was like the accountability, right? And so yeah. just having uh, yeah. extra accountability and the, the support of the group was kind of the, yeah. the difference maker for you. So when you initially joined, I guess, uh, like what what were some of the big things that I guess you experienced uh, while going through the Forge Warrior? Um, the, the, it was <sighs> experienced it. Just like you say, the accountability was there. Um, obviously, yourself was a coach. You know, every, like you say, every coach needs a coach. Um, and I've heard yourself say before and about you know you get coached, and I thought you know. I don't know it all, Trav. I, I, there's, there's loads to learn, you know. And I thought, you know, learning from yourself, obviously you know what you're doing. You wouldn't have what you've got and do what you're doing if you didn't. Um, that was important to me. That was that was one of the major factors. Um, and being part of a group as well, a group of like-minded people, that, um, that, would, that, was, that, was, that was big. Um, and, you know, just to, to be a part of something is, is always, you know, something that... Keeps you going, keeps you pushing. You know, the lads are, obviously a few of them were, were, were a, a few weeks ahead of where I was and, you know, and having just them progress charts as well. They were, they were a big, they were a big must, you know, just to see exactly where you are and tracking your workouts and, you know, just getting, just getting fitter, you know, working on the conditioning side as well without actually getting on the treadmill and, having to go out doing miles on the road and yeah. you know things like that i'm not in i can't be asked with that so that's not me yeah. you know yeah and um, you know so I've, I've i've got myself a rowing machine actually so that's my you know, i've got a good tool there Um, getting back out doing hill sprints that was yeah. something i made when i was yeah, yeah. yeah I, I love the hill sprints you know set your clock 30 minutes and away you go you know what i mean i've got a nice hill where i am here i live just on the back of a valley Mm -hmm. And I've used this hill for years, but obviously lifting weights and you know getting heavy, you didn't really want to be out there running up and down hills. But 
like I say, since I've been involved with the group and that, it's, it's, it's given me a bit more, you know, I've been a bit more active, I have a bit more energy, a lot more energy, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Um, felt a lot more mobile, you know, doing all the, all the, all the stretching and stuff like that, even on your, on your rest days, phone rolling, you know, just, just, yeah. just maintaining yourself and, yeah. you know, keeping yourself, you know, the warm-ups as well, you know, proper warm-up, which you don't really do when, you, when you're lifting weights. Do you do a set of 12, don't you? Then you do another set of eight. And, do you know what I mean? And, you know, work your way up to you. Yeah, I'm not into all that. No, they're, they're not me anymore. I haven't done any bench press for thinking, can't, can't remember the last time I've done bench press, Trav, you know what I mean? What's interesting is um, with the, uh, the lack of benching that we do in the actual the core program, it, it never surprises me. Guys will go back and they'll they'll bench for the first time and they'll crush their old PR despite not yes. doing bench press for you know weeks, right? And so it's interesting yeah. to see that like guys go back and they're like, "Oh shit, I can you know my PRs." You know, I can still bench the same as I was benching before. I yeah. can still lift the same. I'm, I'm do you know what's up? I'm stronger now than I was when I was doing five six sessions a week lifting weight weight training. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. You know, I've always done, I've always done deadlifts. I've always made sure I've got my deadlifts in there. I've always had a good deadlift and, you know, my squat. I have to be careful sometimes. I don't do back squats and I'll, I'll always do the front squat. Yep. I always find that you get a bit more out of that than, than, yeah. than back squats, you know what I mean? And I never, ever did them because of the gym I was in. Didn't yep. really have a, I don't know, wasn't really, didn't really know a lot about the front squats. Always ever just done the, the basic back squats, you know? So since I've been doing them, um, overhead presses as well. You know, I was always using the machine, not the bar. Yeah. Where there's me, me rig I'm getting made up now um, is all designed for front squats wow. over there. You know what I mean? It's all, I've designed it round. It's got a pull-up bar attached to it. You know what I mean? So it's all, it's all designed for what we do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, just full of kettlebells in there as well, you know. So that's the type of training I enjoy now. It, it took me away from that to, to, to start enjoying the, the training again. You know what I mean? Becoming an athlete again, man, is just yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Being able to move again is is important, and it's funny because I bought a load of um a load of t-shirts. I was kitting myself out before I even started. I grew out of them. They were all too tight, and you know, and I thought I can't get rid of them, so I need to lose a bit of something. You know what I mean? And I'm back in them t-shirts now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, you, I'm in the. I mean the the before and after pictures that you've. You posted in the group. I mean, it was incredible the change that you went. Yeah, through. yeah. No, it's worked, Trav. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And one thing I have noticed is me jeans <laughs> are loose around the waist, but tight around the quads. Yeah. You know, I'm having that. Yeah. I'm having that issue yeah. going on. Athlete, the you know what I mean? Athlete fit, right? So the waist gets yeah. smaller, so it's like loose. But yeah, yeah that's you it. can't fit into them because your thighs are, you know, busting yeah. out. Yeah, I, I think I heard Cody say something about this a while ago. You know, he's struggling with his jeans and that, and yep. I'm having pretty much the same trouble, you know what I mean? Exactly. So, uh, you'd have to search. I, I'm not sure of the, the brand of the jean, but it's like an athletic fit type jean, and so it's a slimmer waist, but then the the thighs are a little yeah. bit, uh, you know, wider. And so, they'll be wider. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. So, we've had an athletic build. So. Yeah, my legs have definitely grown, you know what I mean? Whereas, you know, we used to, on, on leg day, it was all like leg extensions and, you know, uh, I don't know, whatever these, the machines you had down there. It's old school, you know what I mean? Whereas now, you know, there's no machines involved. It's all, yeah. it's all barbell stuff and kettlebell stuff, even body weight stuff, you know what I mean? It's all health like. So, yeah. yeah, I've definitely got stronger in the leg departments. And that was, yeah. that was one, of me, one of me little goals I had was, was to build up strength in me, in me legs again. And, uh, and to get fitter, to get more conditioned, you know what I mean? Because that type of stuff gets neglected, doesn't it, when you're lifting the bro splits and, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? And then the, <coughs> perform- the performance aspect is, like, gone. And when you take that out of it, it, uh, it, it makes training boring, to be honest with you. Like, you show yeah. up to your purpose. You just show yeah. up to, oh, I got four sets of this, five sets of this, and there's, like, no – purpose there's no you know driving factor behind that whereas like when it's performance driven you show up and you do have that purpose it's like let's get a little bit heavier than we got last week let's cut down on this period and it's just we're tweaking some small piece of the workout could be the same exact workout but maybe we're taking a little bit of rest away 
or you're trying to go faster and you're trying to finish it, you know, quicker or you're up in the weight, whatever it may be. Uh, it's, it's always that consistent, just itty bit amount of progress. If you do that, that's going to continue to push you ahead. And it's also going to keep yeah, you yeah, definitely, yeah. and, you know, uh, engaged in your training. Cause a lot of guys, a big thing that they struggle with is they get bored with their workouts they lose motivation and then pretty soon they're not even training anymore because they just show up and kind of go through the motions. Right. Yes, so definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Put that, put that performance piece into your training. And that's, that's going to give you new life. Yeah. Your training. Right. So it's seven at a time as well. You know, it's like, you know, every two minutes, you know what I mean? Do and, and rest the remaining. And that's, yeah. that's plenty. Cause you know yourself, you can get a little bit lost when you're waiting for your, your next set can't you then you think how long was that then that was like and you end up having four to five minutes and do you know what I mean so having that little bit of time in between on the stopwatch and also it breaks the workouts down into time as well you know so you you, you know your first bit will be 10 12 or whatever that many minutes and your next bit will be you know two or three minute rest period after yep. that then go into your next bit which is again you know so it's all you know that's 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 what I've liked about the program as well it's you know it's, it's keeping you on a time limit, do you know what I mean? And, you know, I know for training my gym, um, you know, I, I, I may be, I, it might take me a little bit longer, whereas if I'm training in, in the gym I go to, 24-hour gym, I literally want to get in there, get it done, and get out, you know what I mean? You know, so yeah. I've got to try and get that mindset in, back into my place here. <laughs> I'll yeah. get it, it's not a problem, you know what I mean? What we were talking about uh, before we started recording was, I mean, you're – you're to that point, you're busy, man. So you got 30, 40 minutes yeah. max. And so it's like, you got to have that, that plan in place. So when you show up, you know exactly what you're doing. It's yeah. like, yeah, get in, get out. You don't have to train for an hour. You don't have to train for two hours. Like yeah. most guys think you yeah. do. I mean, if you got 40 minutes. Great. We'll get it done, man. Like we can get a lot yeah. in 40 minutes. Right. So, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. 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 But like I say, it's, it, you know, I'm not, it's not. I've got no events coming up, Trav. I've got no, no, um, no major, major goals where I'm training for something or, and it, do you know what I mean? Like in a tough mother or I've got nothing like that going on at the minute. I haven't really got time to start planning that far ahead. So it's all about maintaining now, yeah. and you know, it, it'll be me against the bar, not yep. like you know, me against the time and event, you know, type thing. Yep. You know, it'll be my. I've got it in my head now to. Not a problem, do you know what I mean? I, you know, I can, I'll, I'll be the bar, mate. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Yeah, basically, like you versus you. And so it's that, again, it's having that performance piece in your training, right? And so even though you don't have a big event coming up, you're not training for, you know, Spartan Race or, you know, the CrossFit yeah. Games or something like that. It's like you yeah. still have purpose behind every single tra uh, training session. That's yeah. Yeah. Well, beat yourself beat yourself uh, from the last performance that you had. Like, yeah. get yourself a little bit stronger, and that, that keeps you driven. Yeah. You keep you I've got that mindset, so I'm all right, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't need that. In, that's installed now. That's, that's not a problem. Every session yeah. I've done, and, you know, I'll be totally, totally honest, Trevor, I, I didn't miss one session out of that program. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Didn't miss one. I made sure I completed it from – I said I would, and, you know, I, I completed it from start to finish. Every single one I turned up, you know what I mean? So, you know, I've got it in me to do. It's not a problem, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, you definitely stay committed with the with the workouts, and then on the other side, you you made some awesome improvements with your nutrition too. Yes, definitely. Uh, yeah. What were, the, what were the key things that you did with your nutrition? Um, it was more the I think the what I was having through the the fats. I think it was and my carbs. I wasn't quite the protein was always there, mm -hmm. but I was always tweaking and adjusting the, the the carbs and and the fats. You know, and I found that when I dropped my fats down. Um, and it, I didn't bump my carbs right up because it wasn't performance based. You know what I mean? It was more, it was more burning fat for me. So I, you know, I just kept adjusting them over time, and I found what worked for me. And you know, it was the, the, the tracking. I've never really tracked my food before. Mm -hmm. um, I've always just gone off I and how I felt. Eat when you're hungry till you're satisfied. Type attitude. You know what I mean? But when I was tracking, I was making sure that, uh, you know, everything was prepped up the night before. So I had it all dialed in me, me fitness pal before I went to bed. So I knew the next day exactly what I was eating, exactly what I was having for breakfast, exactly what I was having for lunch, dinner, tea, yeah. you know, that type, you know. So yeah. that for, I'd done that for, I think about 10 weeks solid, tracked everything, you know. 
drove the missus around the bend, you know what I mean? But, you know, I weighed stuff and I, I got an eye for it then and, you know, I bought, yep. I buy all new stuff. I, I eat the same stuff, Trav, I'm, I'm one of them, do you know what I mean? It doesn't, nothing, nothing changes. Yep. The only thing that changes is, is, is the flavour of the chicken, you know what I mean? Or, you know, a bit of seasoning yeah. on this one or, mm, so, yeah. yeah, extra chilli flakes on that one, do you know what I mean? Just trying mm. to bump it up a little bit, just give it a yeah. bit more flavour and taste. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty good with the food, so I mean, me, me food's on point, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, made sure of that. Yeah. Um, so, but, yeah. Not- but one thing that I really liked hearing from you, and this, this happens, this just happens over the process, is like you, you mentioned at the very start, like you're, you had never tracked before, that wasn't something that you had done. Yeah. So up to that point, that was kind of the, the barrier that was holding you back. Yeah. You know, like, you're wanting a change in your physique. And so up to that point, you had just been doing this same thing you had been doing all the time, kind of eating healthy and just, you know, eyeballing stuff. And so when you started tracking, it was a little tedious at first. And I mean, it's a process that you go through. It might drive other people insane that are around you, but now you're up to the point where you've done it for so long. You've done it so consistently. It's just a skill set that you have. Like before we, yeah, yeah, yeah. we hit record, you were saying, I'm still on it with my nutrition, man. Like, and I'm not even having to yeah. track. I'm not having to weigh stuff out anymore because you just know. And that's a powerful yeah, yeah. skill set that you pick up, especially on the nutritional side. So you're going to be able to maintain your results. Like we don't have to worry about, you know, sticking to some crazy diet or anything like that. It's like no. now you got the tools, you got the knowledge, you got the skill set to, to maintain yeah. it. So it's just about. I always, I always had an idea, but you know, I've never really tracked. I've never really tracked as intense as I did. Do you know what I mean? From from the start, you know what I mean. So you know, to like you say, to have that, you know, I'm a great believer in learning something new every day, Trav. You know what I mean? And you know, that's something I did. I was learning every day with that, and I enjoyed that because I like my food, I like my nutrition, I like to know what I'm eating and what's going in my mouth, and I don't yeah. eat no crap. You know what I mean? And you know, I make sure everything that I eat, like you know, it's it's all. You know, one, try, try and stick to like one ingredient foods, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's important to me. And I've always done yeah. that. Um, but it, it was the amount. And obviously, I wasn't taking into consideration when I cook stuff, I cook with coconut oil. Mm-hmm. Like the, the, I've got a jar of it here now and extra virgin olive oil. And I was just obviously gulping yeah. it in there. You know, there's 30 grams of, when I was, when I was yeah. like getting it together with it, there's, I was like, wow, there's 30 grams really of fat good. there. Yeah. Before I've even started cooking, you know, do you know what I mean? So yeah, cook right down on that, cook back on that. Yeah, it's one of those things a lot of guys overlook. It's like, ah, I'm cooking with this coconut oil. It's healthy. It's it's healthy. People say it's healthy, but well, the amount it's still it's still adding calories. So you got to track that stuff. Yeah. Hey, hey, calories are gonna hey, be- don't you don't realize? I think what is it? One gram nine calories fats or something? Is it or yeah. is it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it is one gram. And calories, yeah. And if you're having 18, 20, 30 grams of that straight away, there's, there's, you know, there's a good bump in your calories gone for the day, isn't it? You know what I mean? And, yeah. You know, learning that was, was, was key. I was, I was, I got yeah. on that straight away. Mm. Light bulb. You know I mean? And uh, yeah, all the difference, man. Definitely. So, yeah, so, what were some, some of the big wins, big wins for you, or like big ahas? Like that's a great one. Like just, you know, the fact that you're tracking, it's like, oh, yeah, that matters. Uh, what would yeah. you say were some of the other big wins that you'd want to share? Uh, some of like the big takeaways that you got. What from the program? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the, me strength, you know, that, that me conditioning that, mm-hmm. you know, stuff that you're not, the workouts that you set out, it's not, you look at it and think that looks quite easy on paper. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And you, you get through it and you think, Jesus Christ, that wasn't as easy as that looked. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But you know, the conditioning side and being able to, 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 to get through them and again having the mindset to you know there was times if I like quitting so I'll be honest with you you know we all have that every day oh, yeah. you know what I mean yeah. you know I, I just used to think about yourself and go do you know what I'm not just letting me down I, I, I felt like I was letting yourself down as you, yeah. you know and I thought I haven't signed up for that do you know what I mean yeah. you know I've yeah. signed up to, yeah. to, to get through this you got the brotherhood you got the brotherhood to you know, you got to post up, you got to share your results with the brotherhood. And it's like yeah. one of the codes that we live by is like integrity. Right. And so it's like, if you did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you go into the group and you're like, yeah, I did this workout. It's like, eh, it's not really, you know, no. that's how we do things. And so it's like, 
you know, that's something that really keeps you in To be truthful, you know, I had to, I had to, I had to complete it to, to post it. I wouldn't post if I did, I, you know what yeah. I mean? I wouldn't do yeah. that. That's not, that's me to do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a massive one, that getting through them and being able to get through them yeah. and not leaving till I did. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, that, that over time, built something up inside where, you know, it, it just it's just started happening then. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I didn't have to think about finishing it. I just finished it. You know what I mean? Like the clock was if it was a 30-minute AMRAP or a 20-minute AMRAP, you know, that was that was how it was for 20 minutes. You know what I mean? I accepted it before it started. Yeah. And being able to do that, I think, is a skill on its own, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, it took me, took me a couple of three weeks to get that, but, you know, I did that. And, you know, um, so, yeah, the conditioning side, the strength, um, Coming out of it uninjured, you know, coming out of the, the, the 12 weeks, 13 weeks yeah. without. Don't get me wrong, I had a couple of little tweaks yeah. where, you know, when it wasn't, that was down to, that was down to me sprints, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I rested, yeah. I listened, I rested. And if I did miss like a day of workouts, it went in the next day. And if the program finished on a Friday, it finished on the Saturday or the Sunday. You know, so within the week, I still got what I had to get done. Oh, you just shifted things back, yeah. But I just had to hold myself back a little bit because I thought this is a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You know what I mean? And you know, being able to listen to your body as well was a was a biggie. Yeah. Whereas you know, I'd usually train round that. I go, I'll be all right. I'll just do light, or I just you know. Whereas I took a little step back and thought, no, a little bit of rest, a little bit of mobility, a lot of foam rolling. Go and speak to a a sports master if, if, if you need to, you know, just things like that, you know, you, you listen to your body and, and, and getting it maintained properly, you know, outside of, it's not all about the workouts, is it? It's about the rest as well. Um, wasn't fussed on them cold showers, Trav, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> they're, they're definitely painful to go through, but they're worth it. They are worth yeah. it. Yeah. Physically and, mentally. Physically and mentally. I mean, it, yeah. it's tough. Like right now for me, the cold showers are nothing because it's like 100 degrees here in, in yeah. Omaha. Yeah, no, it's cold, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's cold there for you, so it's it's a little yeah. more difficult. Like in the wintertime, it's like, ah, yeah. I don't want to get in this cold shower. But it's like you go through that mental that mental challenge, you get through it. Yeah. It's like another win. It's another win yeah. that you had for the day until yeah. that stuff starts stacking up. And you go hit your session. You go through a tough part of the session where you want to quit. But you don't yeah. quit. You push through it. Another win. And it's just like these wins keep stacking up and you keep building these yeah. And it's just like... Yeah. Well, the kids the kids said it's like I'm the monkey in the shower in the morning. <laughs> yeah, <it was> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, you get, you... that's great, man. You've had, you've had an awesome journey. Uh, and I'm definitely looking forward to what's ahead for you. Yeah. And um, let's... Uh, one big, one big tip, I guess, if you have one for other guys out there that might be struggling with making a change, uh, they're hitting a plateau or whatever. Um, what's like one of the biggest tips that you would uh, that you'd want to give out? Stay committed, stick with it, um, trust it. You know, because it, it 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 works, doesn't it? You know what I mean? It's it's a definite way. You've got the support there. You've got the group. There's no um. You know, no excuses. You know, don't lie to yourself. You know what I mean. Take that. You know, you go on about that, don't you? You know what I mean. Lying to yourself, and that's probably the worst. If you're lying to yourself, who else are you lying to? Do you know what I mean? You know, just be brutally honest with yourself. You know, take your time. There's no rush. You know what I mean. It's you know, do everything in moderation, and eventually you, you will get there. Do you know what I mean? And like I say, I've only been in 12, 13 weeks, Trav, and, you know, it's been, um, don't be wrong, it's not been easy, you know, it's not easy, but it, it's it's worth it at the end, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely worth just chipping away and carrying on, and you yeah. support, the support's massive. Yeah, it's that whole mindset of, you know, avoiding that instant gratification that everybody wants, you know, everybody wants results overnight, and, um, it just doesn't happen. And so you just accept what is, you accept the reality and that's the long term. Right? So you, just like you said, keep chipping away, keep showing up every day. And it's just like, yeah. boom, that stuff, it, it all compiles 
on itself. And so it's like, you're not always going to have these huge wins every single day. Like some days you might step back or you might stall out, but it's like, come back the next day. It's like, come back the next day and the next day. And you know, you do that over time. Consistency is always going to trump everything else. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Just little bites of that apple. I I use this saying, you know, if you have a big bite of an apple, you try chewing that for, for, you know, it takes a while to swallow, doesn't it? You have little bites of that apple and you can enjoy it and you can swallow it and you know digest it quicker you know just 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 take it easy you know what i mean and like you say just just chip away because it, it's I, you know i trust in in your coach as well you know what i mean that, that's important you know what i mean and you know a lot of the boys in the group obviously some of them train with you at your place and you know they, they trust what you do which is mm-hmm. which is obviously i'm across the pond and you know, I've I've followed you for a while now, Trav. So you know, I have a bit of trust in you. Do you know what I mean? And you know, I don't I don't follow. I'm not one of these YouTube guys who follow everyone and try and yeah. pick up the best result. You know, yeah. I just choose one guy and stick with yeah. it, man. Because you know, yeah, that's, that's what it's about. Yeah, that's one thing that I've always said is like, and I appreciate your trust and I appreciate your hard work and everything that you yeah, do. Yeah um but yeah that's a huge that's a huge takeaway right there i know there's so much information out there and it's like who do you follow who do you trust and that's a a pit a lot of guys fall into they're like i'm just gonna i'm gonna follow 10 guys i'm gonna follow these 10 guys i'm gonna try to take a little piece from each guy and then try to put things together myself it's like you can do that but it more than likely it's going to take a very long time to like piece that stuff together it's just like pick one and go deep instead of picking many and staying shallow. It's like pick one thing and go deep as hell on that one thing. And that's, what's going to yeah. give you the results. That's, what's going to give you yeah, that. Yeah. That, well, that. When I, when I first started, so I, I was obviously, I, I was one of them. Do you know what I mean? I was one of them guys looking on the YouTube and just started out in the PT world and got a job inside the gym. Like yourself you used to work in the gym and what have you, didn't you? Then, you know, Busting out sessions and yep. trying to find something that can give the clients more different stuff, and yep. and then you popped up and I thought, oh, so I emailed the, the Lean and Mean Blueprint. You know, yep. you fired that across, and I took some ideas off that. And yep. it was when I was I was in in the gym. What I used to do is is um, when I trained, I used to make sure I trained at the busiest time in the gym mm-hmm. because I wanted to attract more. Yep. I wanted people to see what I did mm-hmm. and I wanted them to go what's he doing over there because the cardio stuff was was packed out the, the weight area was packed out you know there was lads standing around and they all the matted there all the kettlebells and TRXs were just free yeah I nobody's thought, talking yeah. <laughs> yeah it's always the way isn't it yeah yeah so I started throwing myself around the floor and circus get ups and you know and snatches you know, all of all the stuff you, that, that you're doing bear crawls and the looks I was getting was like what's he doing over there but then people start coming over, asking questions, and what it, 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 it was good because it was like a it was like a a selling point for me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? People started buy, buy, buying into what I did there, Trav. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. you know, I got I got clients off that, off the back end of that. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong; it wasn't for everyone. Some some clients lasted three or four sessions and just this ain't for me. But you know, some clients stick stuff with it, and yeah. you know, I still, I still speak to them now. Obviously, you go through clients like you know, they come and go, don't need you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And I still speak to some of them now, and they're still doing that type of training. So you know, it's we've all learned something along the path. You know what I mean? And you know, like say, stick to one style of training, and you know, if it works, stick with it. Do you know what I mean? You know, don't 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 fix it if it ain't broke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Stick with the plan. That's the big and, thing is with all these different trends and these fads and these gimmicks that come and go. Oh bullshit. You know, if, if what you're doing right now works, like there's no reason to jump off and like like I get questions a lot from guys like, hey, this keto thing, I see this keto thing. It's like, well, what are you doing right now? What what you're doing right now works, then why why would you even do keto? Why would you consider cutting out all your carbs and you know, doing yeah. this thing. unless it yeah. actually makes complete sense for your lifestyle and your goals. Like, yeah, go ahead and do it. But if yeah. what you're doing right now works, there's, there's no sense in like jumping off the train and, you know, just continue. stick with the plan. Like you say, stick with one coach, you know, my bit of advice to, to, to anyone out there is, is stick to one coach and, you know, trust, trust, trust the process. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. you know, it, 
it, it works like and you know I'm, I'm a bit of proof there um, the results I've had in the last 13 weeks you know what I mean so I'm, I'm happy where I'm at now I wasn't happy at first I wasn't happy with myself I wasn't happy with my physique yeah I was all butching you know boulders and shoulders you know what I mean whereas now I feel more you know, after just what three months you mm-hmm. know just a bit of hard work and yeah. completely different feel completely different so awesome, yeah definitely awesome. yeah it's been awesome dude it's it's been great seeing seeing you go through that change and yeah i mean it's not only physical but it's the mental side too man it's like building definitely. reforging that confidence that maybe you once had when you're younger getting that back and keeping it keeping it right yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Go through and you know trying the fads and the gimmicks and stuff is like do something that works and you know put the effort in and stay consistent with it yeah, yeah. no it, 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 it once it's installed once you re- get it installed now it, it, it stays there doesn't it you know what i mean because it's always that green man now has turned into like the brotherhood you know what i mean it's it's yeah. not like green anymore it's it's yeah. it's, rich, it's cody yeah. it's gay peter you know it's all the boys in the group oh yeah are just right there and, you know, you just, that little look, yeah, okay, you get it done, don't you, do you know what I mean? And, yep. you know, and, yeah, all good, mate. Happy days. How's that, brother? Well, thanks, man. I yeah. appreciate you coming on. I appreciate the time. I know you're no busy problem. with the new job and all yeah. that stuff. And so, I mean, a lot of good things happening for you. So Yeah, no, it's yeah. good, yeah. I'm just, just trying to find me, me routine now. I just need a week or two to find me a routine. Because yep. we shift change and once yep. I get that routine, so I'm back on board, mate. So it was yep. it was a couple of weeks and I'll be back on you, do you know what I mean? Heck yeah, dude. Definitely. All right. Get you on. Well cool brother. I appreciate it. I really again I uh respect your time, I respect your effort and and your freaking hustle, man. You are the warrior, so uh Great, man. keep doing the thing, brother. Game changer. That's what it's been. Do you know what I mean? Oh. So I'll I'll be in touch so have next week or two. All right, brother. We'll, we'll get back up and run. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. All right. Good yeah. luck with them games, man. I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Yeah, dude. It'll be yeah, fun. All right. Yeah. Heck yeah, brother. Cool, bro. Nice Take all care, right. bud. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. So that was an awesome episode with my man, Dan Clark. Hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, hope that you got some good takeaways from him in regards to just the ways that he changed up training, how he changed up nutrition. And basically his mindset, um, you know, geared towards training and, and the long-term process. And if you've watched any of these Iron Sharp and Iron shows up to this point, you would know there's a recurring theme, and that is consistency, committing to the process, and just basically stepping up and, you know, getting the support and the accountability you need. And so I'll be straight up. If you're a man, if, you're, if you've been struggling, if you're hitting a plateau, if you're wanting more, and obviously you're wanting to transform your physique, transform your body, but not only transform yourself physically, you need to transform yourself on the mental side as well. I invite you to apply for the Forge Warrior. The Forge Warrior is a fully in-depth system that obviously transforms you physically, but also helps you become a completely different man mentally as well. And it's a full-on system. So workouts, nutrition, that is just the beginning in regards to what else it has in store for you. And so if you've been in a position where you've been stuck, you can't figure out what works, you've tried different things, I invite you to apply for the Forge Warriors, see if this is something that will fit you and take you to the next level. Uh, there's a link uh, with this video here. It's either above or below this video. Just click that link, fill out the application, and then get yourself set up for a power call. And basically on that power call, we'll discuss the ins and outs of basically what it is you need. If this would be a good fit for you, we'll take the next steps forward. And who knows, maybe you'll be the next success story that we have on Iron Sharpens Iron here, uh, where we're going to be showcasing your results. So that's you. Apply. We'll see you on the other side. If not, hope that you got a lot from this episode. And uh, go ahead and drop a comment, share this with another guy that you might, that you know that might need to see this, right? And so it's all about being the warrior. Until next time, kick ass, go ham.